Hello, dear parents. Topic for today is flu shots for your child. Now let's understand that all of a sudden why this vaccination which is available for a long time has been being prescribed by all pediatricians all throughout India. Please understand not just in India even the American Academy of Pediatrics promotes this vaccine. Now let's understand is there any fact or is there a strong basis in prescribing this vaccine to a child? I would like to tell you firstly that this vaccine has been received by my child and we have noted that he did not have any major side effect and we are very happy giving this vaccine to my child. Now before giving this vaccine to my child definitely I have done my due diligence. Before telling every, anything to you let's understand what the research says and are there any strong evidences to prescribe this vaccine to our children. So first of all what the study says it is noted that apart from the ongoing COVID pandemic if influenza also strikes like every year during the monsoons and the winter then there is going to be a twindemic that is there is going to be something like having a COVID infection also ongoing influenza infection. Now let's understand that both these are respiratory viruses with similar clinical features that is they have the same symptoms with similar modes of spread. So understand that there are chances that there can be cross infection that is same person can have two infections. Is it true? Are there any studies? Yes. Journal quotes that in the non-influenza season there could be an incidence of co-infection from 0.9% that is 9 out of 1000 to something like 22% in Turkish population which has been noted and during the outbreak in Wuhan up to 47% cross infection was noted that is understand that every one out of two people are had a co-infection of influenza. So what if there is co-infection will there be any greater damage? Yes. Now the article from Nature which is one of the highest and best prescribed journals quotes that those people who had a co-infection had a greater degree of infectivity required longer hospital stays they became more sick required higher or high ICU care also the mortality was on the higher side now please understand this is from a reputed journal so if these two get together then it is quite dangerous whether we understand that okay it is randomly happening whether is there any association with that now American Journal of Microbiology mentions that the influenza virus once attacks the body it leaves a certain signature in such a way that it allows easier entry of the COVID virus into the respiratory cells. So please understand that if these two happen together then they can work synergistically and produce more damage. Now having understood this we can definitely say that having them together is definitely dangerous. Now okay I understand that if they get uh, if they happen together it is dangerous but you telling us to take a flu shot will it be protective now are there any data suggestive of protectivity from the vaccine yes american journal of infection control quotes that if we have taken a flu shot then there is 24% reduction in chances of getting a COVID infection.
now a reputed journal says that if you take those shots then you are at a lesser risk of getting this infection now jama which is another famous journal mentions that if you get if you have taken the shots in brazil they noted that there was 7% reduction in requirement of intensive care 18% reduction in requiring invasive ventilation and 17% mortality benefit that is they were spared of this infection so please understand that not just that if they come together they are dangerous so also if you take this shot then you are more protected your chances of getting the infection are less you requiring a intensive care is less also you have mortality benefit now beyond this please understand that there are false positive tests when you get a covid test what actually will happen is whenever a person gets influenza his presentation is almost similar to that of covid so invariably a person who is diagnosed with influenza will be subjected to a covid test now the number of covid tests are going to go high among the population who are going to get affected by influenza false positive might be high so they might be unnecessarily treated for covid infection now is that so bad that if you get uh, influenza and covid and you get treated for both is it any is there going to be any problem yes please understand american journal of infection mentions that steroids should not be given to people who are suffering from influenza please understand that steroids is among the mainstay of treatment for covid so if you give steroids to a person who is getting influenza his disease worsens while the one who had has covid his disease improves so the drug for them can cause da damage to one while it will improve the other so we have to be very cautious that we don't get this infection lastly the burden for treatment is going to increase so i have put all the facts which i have found out regarding this controversial topic i hope this throws some light on our understanding of the illness and this produces a positive drive in the minds of parents academicians doctors to prescribe this vaccine more and more uh, as for the last important part the the thing is the side effects of this vaccine are quite less we have given this vaccine to a large number of people very few had any major side effects so i advise all those who are watching this video that they take their kids to the doctors and get the influenza vaccine any child beyond 6 months is eligible to the take this vaccine so please go to your doctor at the earliest let us all get together and save ourselves from this impending third wave in india thank you if you like the video please like it share it and to do subscribe to my channel good night